Warning, this video contains spoilers for the new games Pokemon X and Y on Nintendo 3DS. If you've not yet reached the point in the game that this video covers, proceed at your own risk. Pokemon Rules. Hi guys, welcome to the Pokemon X and Y vlogs. I'm PokeKel. And I'm Alex. This is a late night version. We're in the dark. Yes. What's up? <laughs> We're mostly in the dark. I didn't want to make it sound too creepy, but it is very late at night right now. And he's very tired. I am going to die how tired I am. <laughs> but not before we go to Geosense Town. Right. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. We're in the thick of it. We're in the thick of it right now. This is some serious business. Last wow. time, Lysander did his whole thing. That tea the, smells great, actually. It's really good tea. <laughs> the, the fire, whatever, the weapon shot up into the air. Landed in Geosense Town. No, 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 I didn't shoot any. Oh, no, it just came it just up. came up from just the ground. Up. Beautiful Knocked crystal flower. <laughs> it's like, pop. Yeah. <laughs> Not how like, houses are built. No foundation. <laughs> they have just like a bottom. If there's a strong wind, they would have maybe blown over anyway. Yeah. I was or thinking about those away. houses. I was thinking about those houses and how sad it is that people would be out of homes. But then I realized that like Geosense Town is like a tourist town. So they're probably just like timeshares. So like, don't worry. Timeshares or maybe even like, like, uh, you know, like those colonial villages. Oh, like the, and this was what it was like hundreds yeah. <laughs> of years ago. <laughs> yeah. That's funny. Um, well, anyway, so, um, I mean, if you, unless you are a, a, a darn fool, you should know that the entrance to the secret hideout is um, just to the northwest. When the guy was like, uh, this isn't the entrance to the flare hideout. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> like, like, way back then. <clears throat> Um, but, uh, but yeah, you gotta fight him to get in. Yep. Um, pretty, you know, he's fine. But when you fight him, Serena or Caleb catches up to you and, um, they're like, Oh, I heard from the masked heroes what the plan was going on. What, what plan it was. What was going on. I'm gonna help you. We're gonna do this together. Yeah. Um, and then you walk inside the rock and it's an elevator. And she doesn't get in the elevator with you. you go all the way down to the bottom floor. Yeah, like, what the, <laughs> what the hell? Like, she's, she gets down there. Which is hilarious because then when the cutscene happens, she's just like, "I'm here." Yeah. <laughs> like, she was like, like, I she, took the elevator separate because it was a small elevator, and I'm really scared. I was so. really, I was really self-conscious about my elevator yeah. skills. Uh, but anyway, we go down to the Team Flare hideout, and basically, like, you don't. I mean, it's pretty like right away you find Lysander. Yeah, and he finally <laughs> ex sort of explains his plan, mm -hmm. which is that there's okay, this is weird. There's too many people and Pokemon, and the world is screwed. So then he roasts you about the mega ring. Well, what? Well, he's like, he's like, there's too many people on the world, and then you're, you're like, but we. And then Serena or Caitlin, they're like, we have to share the world. And he's like, did you guys share the mega ring? And then she's like, uh, 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 and he's like, yeah. When people want something, they're gonna fight for it because not everyone can have it. So therefore, I'm gonna win the world. And then so he's basically just like, I'm gonna kill everybody because I want the world to be how it wants to be. Yeah. And then, um. Like the saddest moment of the game. Um, what was that sound? Oh, it's just a computer thing. Sound. Don't worry about um, it. Do you remember when I was going through this point in the game? Yeah, I do. Uh, <laughs> so basically, Serena or Kalem asks, like, but, but what about the Pokemon? And then Lysander starts crying. And it was like, oh, shoot, what's about? And then he's like, sadly, Pokemon shall no longer exist. And I remember exactly, because, I mean, we, we've we already played these games. It's not like we're doing this real time. Like, I've played through it, and I'm halfway through playing the other version that yeah. I didn't play. Um, but basically, I was on the couch at your house, and I'm just, like, crying. Like, actual real tears. And I was like, what's, <laughs> what's happening? And I just turned around, and it said, Pokemon shall no longer exist. It, the concept got too real for me, and yeah. I just was like, oh my god. It would exist. And, um, what if that happened in the game? And all your Pokemon were just like, and like, you had to just like walk around like a kid, like a normal. It, it would be the worst game. You're already. I can see it. I'm really upset. <laughs> can we move on? <laughs> it's like getting real again. Uh, so you battle him. What terrible. Uh, so I mean, you battle him. What? Now you like have to get him. Yeah, you battle him. Like this is more. Feels a little bit more real this time. He's got Mian Xiao, Hanch Crow, who I hate, uh, because you'll find out why tomorrow. And Pyroar and Gyarados. Uh, and would you like actually like a competitively yeah, cool sound team. team? Except that there's four. Which like, what? Just give him six. Every trainer in the game who doesn't have six Pokemon, what are you doing? I don't know. <laughs> Except uh, for the guy with six Magikarp, because still, what are you doing? Yeah, well, he's... Well, later he's, he's going to be good. <laughs> he, yeah, he's a troll. And not really. But, well, yeah, because he's not allowed to use that team in a competitive yeah, setting. Yeah, that's right. He would not be a, he would not be allowed on Smogon. That's true. Uh, all right. Anyway. <laughs> 
So he loses the battle, obviously, because then otherwise the story wouldn't go forward. And exactly. so he like runs away again. No, no, he doesn't run away. He's like, all right, go downstairs and see what I've done. Yeah. Um, so this part is kind of cool because this time um, Serena slash Caleb does follow you and you're like running through a hallway and so it like feels really intense because like you're like, yeah, we're going to go get him. Like every once in a while they'll pipe up and say something like, I can't believe this is this is what's happening, etc. Um, and so you're like running through the hallway and then suddenly like you hear a small voice behind you and you turn around and it's Shauna. Finally dopey Shauna little shows up. Show, little cute Shauna and she literally like in this scene she makes the saddest face on the planet. Yeah, she's like... She's just like... Because she's like, I'm really sorry, I know I'm not strong. And, like, Serena Kalem says something that's, like, kind of offensive to her, and she's like, I shouldn't have come, I'm the worst. And then and then Serena Kalem is like, oh, I, no, no, I'm sorry, you're yeah. not going to hold this up, you come on. And then she's like, all right. Um, I, I love Shauna. She's, some people, like, hate her because they think she's, like, I think she's so sweet. She's classic she's Hufflepuff. She's so sweet. Classic she's Hufflepuff. She's so sweet. She's great. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so it turns out... Uh, she has the exact thing. You get to this door, it's locked, and then she's like, well, I got this. I what? have this lock device from the gym leader What is Lanios. his name? What is his name? Uh, Smarty Boy? Smarty Boy. We're going to go with Smarty Boy. Smarty Boy. So, <laughs> so you go in. Uh, oh, that's going to bug me now. It's all right. It's on the tip of my You get in, and you f- see, uh, well, I saw uh, Xerneas. <gasps> Finally. Well, it's a tree. Yeah. It's like a tree. Yeah. So no, it's not Xerneas. And a Veltal is like a like a cocoon egg thing yeah. looking thing. But that's what it is. It's it's Xerneas. Yes, it's it's the legendary Pokemon trapped in some sort of strange device. And you're like, oh and your friends are like, oh and then T Flare appear out of nowhere. There's like no. eight of them. Um and so uh, Shauna gets oh. real scared and she's like, ah and runs away. They, they and chase that's her. why that's why uh, Serena leaves. Yeah, Serena slash Kalem leaves because they're like, I have to go protect her. Which, um, in my version, when I was a girl and Kalem was like a guy, I was like, mm, romance. <laughs> romance. <laughs> I must protect Shauna. Uh, but okay, so you fight four guys who are there. Kalem uh, and Shauna. You OTP. beat them. Yeah, OTP, really? <laughs> the one true Perry? No. Uh, <laughs> you fight them. Xerneas wakes up and it's like a cool, like, this should always happen. Like, it was cool when... Uh, oh, it was great. It was a cool cut. It reminded me of, like, when um, Giratina shows up in Platinum, and it's like... Da, 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 and it's yeah. like... <gasps> it was cool. Yeah, it's cool. It cool. I still think it looks like the forest spirit from... Uh, Princess Mononoke. Yeah, Princess Mononoke. It, does. it, it does. really but, like, that made me want to... I'm sure that when it. we do the episode, it'll be all become clear. Yeah. <laughs> uh, um, but... Uh, but it, it gets it gets mad because it's woken up and all of its energy's been drained, so it charges at you. Um, so you gotta fight it, of course. Yeah. And uh, it's one of the easiest Pokemon in the game to catch. Yeah, but dude, you don't get to really pick the nature. Right. Unless you, because you unless can't you, say, unless you want to go through the cutscenes all again. So you should save. If you haven't gotten to this point, you should save like right before. Right before you go, you. If you're go trying, yeah. If you're trying to nature Xerneas, which I did not do for some reason, I, I'm I'm sad that I didn't now because I really I really do. Because like you it. have to do the battle with the Team Flare members because you don't get a chance to save between them. So it literally, once Shauna opens the door, you need to save because then you have to fight three guys and then fight Xerneas, yep. and that is pretty. And and right after the Xerneas fight is the Lysander fight, and you can't even check nature. Yeah, they did that. They did that. Um, in black and white also. Yeah. Which so, would really grind my gears. Tough to nature. Yeah. I think, you know, eventually they're going to, like, put out a shiny one or something. Something like that. Or, like, maybe in the like the third extra game or whatever they decide to do. See. Yeah, they'll they'll make it, like, a little easier to catch them. Because yeah. the game will probably be about Zygarde. Probably. I hope so. I thought I, I was... I had an interesting experience today because I was talking about my least favorite legendary. Right. Which is uh, Palkia. Um, and a lot of people were like, I hate Zygarde. And I was like, oh, because I really like him. I think he's cool, like an I do, underground I do really like, with no eyes. I think that's cool. I really do like Zygarde. Um, but a lot of people don't like him. But I'm hoping that in in the next installment that he's gonna we're going to figure out a little bit more about him because um, I feel like he could be pretty cool. Yeah, the battle is super easy. You end up with Xerneas. Yeah. Bang, bang, or boom. Yeah. yeah. Um, really, you can probably use a quick ball. Yeah, if you have space in your party, you can put him in your party. Or actually, you can actually switch him out. Mm-hmm. They do yeah. that like weird yeah, menu yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, all your uh, friends are fine. Yeah, but the reason that it's so easy to catch is because it's like it's like it recognized you as someone trying to help it escape. So like it wants to go with you. It wants to go with you yeah. so that it can it can escape the scariness. Pretty so cool. It, it makes sense. Um, Lysander comes back, yes. and this time he's dressed exactly like Doctor Octopus. <laughs> uh, he actually looks a lot more like Smarty Guy, Smarty Boy. Yeah, Smarty Boy. Edmund. Mm. Mm. 
I don't think so. No. Oh, I wish I could remember. I'm just gonna find out. We're right just now. gonna look it up right now. We, this is, we, you deserve better. This is live. <laughs> Um, live. But anyway, so he's dressed in this thing. He's got like these these cords coming out of his back with like these like buzzy things. And then he's like, and even Shauna's like, "What are you Wait, what, wearing, what is dude?" It? It's Clement. Like, Clem Hunt. Okay. Yeah. Um. Right. Lemon. Because he's he's got he's got lemon hair. I like to think that it's because Mega Man shoots lemons, uh, and he looks like he could invent Mega Man. Okay. Right. That's what that's I'm going with because I love Mega Man, and that's the only reason. So, right. <laughs> um, so Lysander's like, he, he implies that somehow the machine on his back is going to help him steal back Xerneas or Veltal from you, but we don't know why or how or what the device actually is. He never uses it, but right. he's just like in this zone. Um, yeah, so. it's really weird that he does it. Like, why do they do it? Like, I guess to I make think, him look scary? I think it's just like, because this is the real final fight. <clears throat> um, but, uh, but this one is a cool fight. It's cool because you finally get to see Mega Garrett. Turns out he has a Mega Stone too. Uh huh. And he has Mega Gyarados. The shrimp. Yeah, he looks kind of weird. Actually, I, he looks like a like a big old shrimp. I, I think he looks cool. Like, go, like now that I'm shrimp. now that I've let it settle a little bit, but he's like a little bit too thick for how short he is. Mm -hmm. But he's he's awesome because he's the he's water dark instead of water flying. Water dark, and he gets the ability. Ooh. I don't know. I don't use him because he looks like a shrimp. I don't know. He's really good. He's really, a, he's really a cool uh, mega, and people have been kicking my butt with him. <laughs> uh, but you beat him, uh, and then he just like, Ugh. He literally like takes off his glasses and like throws them down, and then you get like a Dutch angle with like the glasses, and then him in the background. Yeah. It's very funny. Really um, weird. Uh, yeah, but he's like, he's like, oh, this is the worst. I'm so mad, but it doesn't matter because I can still use the machine. And then your friends are like, oh, we gotta go. And then so um, he guess, activates the machine. But guess what? So okay. What? <laughs> yeah, I, no, it's okay. Let's like I, let's just get let's just get there because I'm excited to tell to talk about them. All right, all right, all right. Okay. Um. So he's like um. So he like activates the machine and you're like, oh my god. It goes like. And it goes straight up and you're like, it's gonna destroy the world and then it goes straight back down and destroys the machine itself. Which like doesn't make if it, if it's that powerful of a machine, I feel like any Pokemon anywhere near it are dead. Right. But and the houses are still fine around it. The crater, there's a big crater. It literally just destroys the destroys weapon. destroys the weapon, which maybe is like product of the weapon itself. Some people are even saying that Lysander did it on purpose. Yeah. Uh, so after we um, talked about the whole Pokemon War thing and I was like, let me hear your theories. Somebody sent me a theory um, about, um, I wish I could name check you, but I just didn't, I wasn't prepared enough. But if you tweet me that you're that guy, I will... You know, Pop you up in the annotations. Yeah. yeah. Or well, yeah, I'll put I'll put you in the annotation and I'll, you know, tweet the link out so that somebody can read it. But the theory is basically just that Lysander, like, his whole jam was not to do what he said he was trying to do, but to save the world from assholes. From the ultimate weapon? No, from assholes. Because what what he said was like, it's an organization that you have to pay to be a part of, so only people who are going to do that are like rich people who feel like money can just get them wherever they want. Uh, and then like the whole, his whole thing was like that he wanted to like get them somewhere so that they'd all be in trouble mm -hmm. and ruined after, after the uh, world ends. And okay. then, and like a lot of them died because they're all in the, in the weapon and like round them up and Yikes. kill all the jerks in the world. And then, wow. and then himself included. Wow. Because he thought that he was, also bad. That, that, where is he after the machine goes off? Yeah, and and like whatever happens to him, you know, maybe he's like AZ or yeah, something. Who knows, who yeah, knows. apparently he's related to it to him. To, to oh yeah, there was an interview that said that um, some people cited it in the comments of the last vlog that um, the, an interview with Junichi Matsuda said um, that they're related, and also that um, that the Floet that was belonged to AZ was um, like drafted was drafted by soldiers into the war. So, so. it maybe it does seem like maybe there are some people involved. Yeah. So, so. we'll see. Yeah. There's there's yeah. a lot to talk about with involving <laughs> Pokemon Wars, but anyway, the weapon destroys itself. Uh, not sure how we all survive. Oh yeah, because like literally when the smoke clears, you and Cena and Dexio and uh, Trevor and Tierno and Serena, Caleb and Shauna are all standing on like the literal lip of the crater, which if this was an actual explosion of this magnitude, y'all would be dead. Yeah. Y'all would be dead. But then the defenders of Kalos 
Oh yeah, they're not Cena and Dexio. They're the defenders of Kalos. And um, what was it? They oh, Tierno's <laughs> like, Tierno's like, thanks Cena and Dexio, or like something like. Oh that. yeah, yeah. He's 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 like, yeah, Cena and Dexio were helping us fight, and they're like. We're not. Oh, yeah. Who are who are they? They are. They sound cool. Where they're solidifying they their place as looking. the most hilarious yeah. characters. They sound the game. awesome. Um, cool names. So there's a couple things that they say during this bit that air that are a little bit weird and unexplained. Like um, I'm gonna read here. Um, Tierno says that they were helping to protect the Pokemon connected to the stones on Route 10. Maybe it had to happen again. Maybe not only Xerneas or Eveltal was at the center of it, but that they had to lash. Pokemon to those stones as some Because you're not allowed to go down and look at the stones while you're there, but so maybe there's po- there were Pokemon being held captive there because yeah. we know that Team Flare was trying to catch Maybe it's some of sort of Pokemon. like energy relay that needs to suck. Could you imagine though, like like that Obama snow or whatever, like tied oh. up to a to a what like those gravestones yeah. being like ah it's terrifying. I would yeah. love to, I would love to see a movie about it. No real explanation for it. No real explanation. And you're just like, wait, what? And then um <coughs> Tina and Dexio say that there was a machine in Lysander's lab that was spying on people's holocaster transmissions, and you're like Damn. Oh. That's because, that's straight out of the Dark Knight, by yeah. the way. It didn't. It like didn't. It never really affected your your game, really, though. But like, it's interesting to know that that was happening. Yeah. So. Like. Um. Yeah. It doesn't explain anything. I guess. Which like, I maybe, think is you know I think is okay because like yeah you're the hero of the game but like why know everything that's going yeah. on and like the defenders of Kalos are here to stay so. They're superheroes. <laughs> they are. I hope the next really game are. is all about them. Oh, I would love that. <laughs> Good. <laughs> you get to be one, like you get to be like Cena or Dexio at the beginning of the game. That'd be great. That'd be really, really cool. Be great. Uh, anyway, uh, everybody leaves. Uh, Az shows up, and uh, he's like, "It was me." Which you're like, "I know, dude." Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, it's like it's like you're like standing. You're like, "I know, dude." <laughs> like put your hand like on his yeah. lower arm because yeah. you can't reach any higher. Duh, Try to man. get a shoulder. <laughs> Duh, man. But he's like, "But I still can't find my Pokemon." I wish I could. I wish I knew what I had to do to get it back. Yeah. Um. And then he walks away, and you're like, Okay. Sorry, man. Um. But you're a hero. Yeah, you're the best. You're a hero. You saved it. Now, um, business as usual. We got another badge well, to go yeah, get. They're like, Well, that was fun, but let's just go. Let's just go get some badges now. And there will be more explanation of a little more things later on, but yeah, um, it is not the end of the game by any means. Yeah. But right it's the now. end of the. It's the climax it's the of the plot. Of the bad guys. Yes. So. I'll say. Um. But it, cool, cool bit. It's yeah. A cool section of the game. Yeah. So, so yeah. Uh, let's jump into questions. That's, okay, that's, yeah. that's it for the talk through section. Uh, and the first question comes from Jam Bells, uh, who asks If you could design the next gen of starters, what would you do with them and what animals would you base them on? Oh, how cute. What a cute idea. Well, it's so hard to know. <laughs> Gosh, well, I mean, we've had. Hmm. We've had like reptiles, we've had oh, everything. I'm trying to think of something that's gonna be like cool. I think, I don't know, do you have ideas? Uh, there could be a cat. Like a little cat one? Yeah. Like a fire cat? Yeah. Like a cat and a dog. Well, that's, that's pyro, I guess. <laughs> a cat, a dog, and like a like domestic house pets? Yeah, like house pets maybe? Cat, dog, bird. <laughs> yeah, well okay, but like a lot of it also in my mind has to do with um, like, you know, what the region is like. Mm-hmm. So. Oh my gosh, if we were, I know that you've said multiple times that you'd like an, a region set in India, like a little elephant, a little elephant one. Yeah. Like a little elephant, a little like, um, I mean, we had Chimchar as a monkey, but we could have like a, a grass or, a, or like a water one. Yeah, or and, it could be a um, tiger. Or like a little, or like a little cow. A tiger, a tiger, a, a tiger, a cow, and an elephant. Those would be really cute. Yeah. Those would be really cool. Yeah, that's what I want. Water elephant? Yeah. Who like shoots, shoots, shoots water? That'd be so cute. <laughs> I love elephants. And Not he becomes and he becomes water flying. And he like <laughs> Dumbo. <laughs> you just broke my heart. Oh, that's the best. I don't think that that's not even gonna happen. There's probably gonna be a like Dumbo Pokemon. <laughs> that's super cute. Yeah, I think that's what we'll that's what we'll say. Yeah. Yeah. Done. An elephant, in. elephant, cow, and a tiger. Yeah, I want that India game, you guys. I want that. I want to play that. <laughs> All right. Um, the next question comes from uh, Primal Coyote, which uh, and they say, uh, "What Pokemon do you guys consider yourselves best at using, and which one do you wish you could use better?" Um, I don't know. Um, what like how how do you think we should interpret this? Like um, like I... what type of Pokemon? Like what what like 
build on a team? I'll do my answer first because I, I like I, I chose the questions this week and so I like was able to think about <laughs> Yeah. Um and I mean I, I'm sure you guys are sick of me saying this, but I think I'm best at using Whimsicott because I like it so much and I use it so much that like I know what people try to do to it to yep. get it to get it to um be nullified. Mm -hmm. And um so I've kind of like worked around that. And so I think I think that I'm best at using Whimsicott. Uh, I think that I, I don't know like which one could you use better, but I often have trouble with revenge killers. Really? Yeah. Um, it seems pretty cut and dry. With I mean, it seems pretty killer. cut and dry, but I like never really like like using them because I like my Pokemon to like stick around and they're usually like pretty fleeting. And I just uh, I just I think I need a lot more practice with them because I, they're not something that I'm just like I know I can bring this guy out. I'm not I'm not really good at being like. Oh, I know this will be a one-hit KO, or oh, I know this will do this. I, I just like try to play the longer game and like figure out like how it can gradually. You get like to have time to think, I think. Yeah, think. yeah. And so with like revenge killers, I'm like, I'm like, I don't, I don't really think about like, is this one move gonna knock it out, and then how am I gonna get back my HP that I right. lost from the recoil damage, things right. like that. So um, I would like to get better at revenge killers. For me, I'm really good at using my team, which like team style, like the way that I play is like very specific to me but like you know it gives me a lot of options that I can pull out of my pocket I typically have like an opener that can also actually do some real damage and I, I really like like uh, your Galvantula right like my Galvantula man like nobody gives him enough credit because he the fact that he can like pull off a thunder pretty reliably is like pretty good With and then he, and then yeah. bug buzz goes through substitute guys and so you'd be surprised the kind of people that I have Taking down with that because they'll sub, you know, they'll substitute themselves and they'll be like down mm -hmm. on health, and then you just bug buzz them, and maybe it's super effective, maybe not, but a lot of things bug buzz hits. Yeah, and it just it's great. Like he's really good, and he's not that good of a Pokemon, but I use him very well because I'm good at predicting. Yeah, What's it's all happen. about prediction, and the more you use your Pokemon, you know, the more you know what people are going to use against you. To try also, to talk, to slow bro, real talk. Slowbro is the man, That's and about to I. That's become your, uh, your like everybody. Every every YouTuber has a Pokemon attached to them. Do you think that mine's gonna end up being Slowbro? Maybe. That's. that's... I think mine's kind of Gastrodon or Whimsicott. Yeah, <laughs> but Slowbro is so like. <sighs> but like it's, it's not. Great. Yeah, but like it's like if I'm the guy who's Slowbro, then I'm just like the guy who is Slowbro. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, j has his Hopip, and it's not like you think that j has is anything like Hopip, or it really says anything <laughs> about him as a person. But once it's slow, bro, once, once it's like me, and like, like my, like, <laughs> You're slow, like bro. slow, bro. Yeah, it's like, well, this guy is slow, bro, and will always be slow, If you could bro. choose a mascot for the decks, who would you choose? If you could choose a mascot for each of us, who would you choose? <laughs> That's the answer, because that can't be just one. Yeah, I guess you're right about that. Huh? Yeah, slow bro, <laughs> slow bro. Or for it, for it's my, my guy. Who can I use better though? Uh, is um, like, I'm really, I'm really dependent on certain Pokemon. You know, like Florgus especially is like a thing that I love right now, and um, it's hard to take it down. So it is hard. hard to take it down, but like. For example, like other other ways of playing, like going outside of my like comfortable play style is very tough for me. And so lately what I've been trying to do is when I build a team on like Pokemon Showdown to try it out and figure it out, I try and go a totally different route mm -hmm. than what I have right now. And I'm, I'm having some fun right now with Gudra. I wish I could get better at using Gudra. Uh, Gudra uh, with, with Assault Vest is what I'm playing around with right cool, now. Cool. And it's very funny. Yeah, it's cool. And then, um, you know, I mean, we, we do our decks versus and it's always on showdown because it's such a good venue to like branch out and try things without having to like raise up a team. Like, I mean, if we tried to raise up actual teams every week for the decks versus, we would probably quit because that sucks. Yeah, people are like, <laughs> people are like sitting in the comments like, yeah, you know what, uh, this show would be legit and I would actually care about it. If you guys just took the time out of your day to spend a few hours training your Pokemon, I'm like, you know what? For like theme, for themed teams that we're never going to use, that's like, like not, not like, like yeah, like on our I, radar. I'm not gonna like EV train. Uh, you know, <laughs> we'd rather spend the time like maybe doing another episode of the decks this week. Who knows? Yes, yeah, or any of the other 15 freaking things we have to worry about. <laughs> anyway. 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 The next question is from Kate K Yo Kate Kyo 504 5041. Mm -hmm. Kate K 
Kate Kyo. I'm so sorry. That's what it is. K-A-T-E-K-Y-O 5041. And the question is, I say one of the best Pokemon that wears clothes is Lucario. Look at those baggy blue plants that he wears while not caring, but still able to move swiftly. And the headband over his eyes make him look even more cooler. And let's not forget that spike, because who needs shirts? That was in response to our, uh, yeah. what's your favorite Pokemon that yeah. wears clothes Perfect. last week? Perfect, perfect. Um, but, um, the question. but yeah, the question is, what are y'all's favorite legendary trio group? Like the Reggie, the Genies, the Birds, Beasts? I feel like they don't get enough love, but then again, look at their typing and stats. Um, Beasts is my favorite, I think. Uh, Gen 2 Beasts? Yep, yep. The le- also known as the legendary dogs, or legendary cats, because they could. there's a big drift on people that call them either of those things, yeah. but Beasts is the safe word, the, like, official word. Um, oh my gosh, I saw, a, a, like, a meme today, the... The uh, Dodge, what is it? Dodge? Do- Do- Dodge? 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 That wow. that Shibinu meme. Oh yeah, so good. And it's good. the legendary. It's the three legendary beasts, and they're and they're like, wow, so flea, much legendary. <laughs> it was so funny. I loved it. I wanted it on a shirt. Um, <laughs> They're my favorites, though. I think they're cool. Yeah, I really like the Regis a lot, but I really, oh, really, but I really like them mostly because of Regigigas. So I don't really think that that counts. I think that just for old times' sake, I like the. Um, the the birds. birds, because I really like Articuno, but lately, the legendary hoofed creatures hoofed that horses. live... <laughs> they're not even really... Like, Terekion is like a bull. The musketeers. The, the legendary yeah, musketeers. Yeah, the, the musketeer deers. The musketeers. We're the worst. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I really I really like them, because they're all um, kind of neat looking. Terekion yeah. is like in use today competitively as a as like a stealth rock lead. Really yeah, cool. Yeah. And, and then they even cool. brought the little fourth guy in with the uh, Keldeo. Keldeo, the little... Well, it's uh, the M. It's just an M. The, the last musketeer that's like not the official one. I, I majored in English literature. Anyway, that's for the Dex episode yeah. uh, about them. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, those are our favorite trios. Yeah. And our last question today comes from uh, Big Terra 925 who asks, who is your favorite gym leader and why? Mmm. Blaine, because he's my uncle. No, I'm just kidding. Um, I, I like, um, man, that's a, that's a tough, that's a tough question. Yeah. Yeah. I think, I think I'm going to go with Misty. Oh, she's great. Yeah. I think I'm going to go with Misty, uh, because she's, she's kind of a little bit different in the, um, in the game. She seems like she's really on top of her, like, just like on top of her life. Mm -hmm. She's like really just like a good, like water trainer. I really respect that. I don't know. (laughs) Great. Awesome. Isn't that weird? I, it's funny. I always, I, mean, I, I feel like if, if. Do you like her with the side ponytail or the short hair better? Uh, I don't, I don't really care. I, 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 I like her ponytail. I like her for her personality. Um, <laughs> my favorite gym leader is Jasmine, um, because she's so awkward. Yeah. She's always like, uh, um, and here's. She reminds me of a little. Uh, she reminds me of Luna Lovegood. She's the one who uh, steel type trainer, and then yeah. she is like a beautiful, caring, kind-hearted girl that goes and takes care of the Ampharos that was like stranded in the lighthouse. And I just really, I just think she's like great. And um, which one's the one that runs away, Isabella? What? The one when you beat her, she like no. Whitney, Whitney. Oh, she cries Whitney. and she's like, I'm not gonna give you your badge. But um, no, Jasmine's cool. And then when I was playing um, Platinum. And she was like on the shore of a beach. I was like, hey, yeah, hi, it's Jasmine. <laughs> and she like talked to me, and I was like, she's probably, yeah, she's definitely my favorite. <laughs> Even though she's like, she's like a steel type trainer who like she's got the Steelix and the and the Magnemite. Oh, which, cool. Um, yeah, they're cool. There's there's cool, and it's like it doesn't. It seems like it doesn't fit her personality, but like then she totally would. Yeah. I, yeah, I think she's great. I think she's like the best. Cause she's strong. She's she's super cool. She's got an inner strength. She would survive poison if she was poison. Yeah, she's, yeah, she would. Just like steel touch. Anyway. <laughs> All so right. That was fun. Um, yeah. Thanks for thanks for tuning in to our vlog. Yeah, that's it for today. We only got a few of these left. I would do. Who I knows what we're going to do after we finish the game? I do. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but seriously, bye. Thanks for uh, watching tonight. I'm Poke Alex. Night. I'm Pokegills. Bye. Bye. We're going to do a...